A new podcast, Intersections Detroit, contains more than 100 audio recordings from all kinds of Detroiters in their own words. Each episode explores ideas like faith, service, community, and wisdom as told by the people of the Motor City. I never liked the analogy of Detroit being this ghost town. I never liked it. Because I would come home and I would see all my people. My people live here. I moved to New York and I went all over the world. When I came home, my people were still here. My family is here. So how do you talk about a city like it's disappeared? What does what does Detroit sound like? Right here would have given it to me anyway because she already oh, look at look at girl. I know the boy. She did baby look. I know the man that had no kids. That's how they need that man. We love very hard because we've had to fight. <laughs> we've had to fight for this love, you know. Uh, and everyone don't love us because they don't know us. And it's not, you know, this mushy kind of love. Like, it's not a romantic love. It's a gritty love. I, I got your back, you know, kind of love for life. Yeah, it's a, I got your back love. This is Intersections Detroit. Resilience and hustle from the heart of the D. Follow the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you find great stories. And joining me now here in the studio is the show's producer, LaToya Cross, as well as the show's creator, Marcus Lyon, who is joining us over Zoom from Los Angeles. Thank you so much, both of you, for joining us today. Thank you for having Thank you. us. Absolutely. Marcus, how you doing out in L.A.? We're good, yeah. Good. Good evening to you guys. Good evening to you. So my first question about this podcast, and it's so well done. Congratulations. Uh, it's brand new. I listened to a couple of the first episodes today, and you really get sucked into it. Now, you are from Detroit originally, LaToya. Yes. And you were instrumental in collecting these voices and these stories, right? Yeah. Well, I came in, so Marcus and his team, um, this is all an evolution of a project that he did about three years ago now mm -hmm. um, called I Detroit. And so his team, they conducted, did the groundwork with the interviews and everything. And so when they wanted to evolve, evolve into a podcast, um, they reached out. And so with that is where I was able to dive into every bit of audio and read through every single script and kind of piece it all, piece it all together to make like cohesive mm -hmm. um, stories. And it really does. It flows so well. Uh, Marcus, I'd love to ask you. I think the first thing that came to my mind researching and listening to the episodes are what's a British guy doing <laughs> diving into all things Detroit and diving into these stories? How did this come to be, Marcus? Well, I've been making human atmospheres for 10 years now, and uh, the fabulous people at uh, Kresge spotted my work that I'd done uh, in Brazil, uh, creating a human atlas of 100 change agents there. And they invited me to come to Detroit and tell your story through the voices of 100 nominated change agents. So really, it was my great honor to be an artist who got given the chance to uh, listen deeply to your people and to create a story that really honors voice, real voice, deeply listened to voice and allows us to get a sense of what it feels like to belong to the Detroit community. Now tell me more about these change agents because these aren't just random people you walked up to on a street. These, these people were chosen for specific reasons and they were nominated, correct? Yes. Exactly. I mean, we're very intentional in a, about our work. So mm -hmm. the idea is to create a deep nomination process where we listen to the voice of the place that we're doing our work in and allow those people who know what's actually happening on the ground, in the grassroots, to allow them to nominate people in their communities who are creating the social change that we so need in our societies. And you were telling me during the commercial break, Latoya, a little bit about some of the music. It's not just voices. It really does kind of take you on, on a journey. And that's one of the beauties of this is that um, we, it's very immersive in that we really take you to the place. So mm -hmm. 
in addition to hearing the narratives and everybody sharing their human experiences, you're going to hear dogs in the background. You're going to hear bits of Livernoy, you know, the avenue of fashion. And you're going to hear, um, you know, owners working in their community, people coming together, or just that, that feel-good talk. You know how in Detroit we, we're cool and we fly and we, you know, and, and, yeah. and lay back with you. You're going to hear, you know, a little yelling over here, a little laughing uh -huh. over there. But it's very immersive and it really feels good and brings, um, and it just really helps to weave all the stories together. Yeah, it is very immersive. I One of the early episodes, I felt like I was kind of just talking to an elder on yeah. a porch maybe, <laughs> you know, you just, you're hearing these stories and these throwback stories, um, but not all, they weren't all elders. There were people of all kinds of backgrounds, exactly. all ages. Uh, Marcus, tell me why it's important to you to have these different voices that people don't necessarily think of when they think Detroiter. Well, firstly, I, I'm just delighted that you felt like you were on the porch because we were on the porch. <laughs> One of the things we did is we asked all the people who were nominated when we photographed them for the I Detroit book, we asked them, where is the place that you would feel most honored to be interviewed? And then we went to that place. And often it was a grandmother's porch. It was the steps of a church. It was a library where someone got their first book that inspired them to study a certain subject. So uh, having that authenticity is really key. And I think the Detroit story really taught me that we're all watched, but are we truly seen? And what we needed here was an opportunity to truly see Detroit for what it is. There's so many skewed narratives about your city. There's so many stories told poorly. And this was our opportunity as artists to come to Detroit, the beautiful, amazing city of Detroit, and tell a truly authentic story about who you are and what we can be when we co-author and self-author a more hopeful future. Yeah, that really came through and that mm -hmm. echoes what some of some of these change makers in, mm -hmm. in the podcast say. Detroit is known for one thing, it gets a bad rap sometimes. Uh, as a native Detroiter, Latoya, how do you feel about getting these stories out into the community? That is the beauty of this project. Intersection Detroit is very interior. Mm -hmm. So it's not anyone coming in and curating a narrative and trying to shape it for themselves. These are people who are in day in and out and, and showing you, expressing how they navigate their daily lives. Yeah. You know, so you're going to have the joy, you're going to have the challenge, you're going to have. Um, I call it the rough and the rainbows, <laughs> you know, but you're never left in a dark place because regardless of what we go through, we use what we have, that's our fuel, that's our passion, and we use that to do what we need to do. Beautiful. Marcus, I'm curious, what has the reaction been from some of the people featured in the podcast? How do they feel give it, being given the opportunity to have that platform and to really tr true share a true part of their story and their history? Well, it's early days. You know, we've only dropped uh, three of the chapters of a 10 chapter book. So this will keep dropping every Tuesday for the next month and a half. So I've only heard back from a few people featured in the, um, the podcast so far. They're delighted. I mean, I feel um, that we created massively powerful stories together. And you know, I sit now on the Ally Council of the amazing Dwan Dandridge's uh, Black Leaders Detroit. And I know for a fact that Dwan and many of the other people in the project are, uh, felt really truly listened to by the process we put together. And we were truly humbled. I always say I came to Detroit as another and I left as a brother. Um, mm -hmm. And I think perhaps, you know, at this stage, it's worth making a big shout out to, to the amazing, legendary Jessica Kerr Moore, who narrated this podcast series for us and gave us a chance to have an intro and an outro that was really the authentic voice of, of the city. Yeah, authentic is there. You can feel that right off the bat. Uh, the episodes, there's a few of them out already. They're not too long, about 20 minutes. That's a perfect commute, shower, you know, <laughs> great thing to listen to. How many more episodes are coming and what can we expect as you go forward? I think we've got seven still to drop and you're going to have coach Carly Sweeney from the downtown boxing gym. You're going to have Mama Shu from the Avalon Village, uh, Marsha Music's featured uh, and, and many, many other both fated and uh, unsung heroes from the city. I mean, that's one thing I think is really important to understand about this work is that, you know, the majority of people who we featured in this work are working at the coalface really without the oxygen of publicity. Mm. These are people who are doing it because they believe their life is 
uh, service and that service is a way to live a life well. So um, I think listen to it, enjoy it, uh, lean into it. It's a it's a it's a slow listen, uh, and it's a chance to really touch the hearts and uh, the values of a group of remarkable people. So I hope for all your listeners, you really enjoy it. It's been an absolute honor, and I'm, I'm massively in the debt of Latoya for doing such an incredible job for producing it. So thanks to you all. Well, thank you both for joining me, for telling us about it, and, and for producing such a great podcast. Uh, I found it on Spotify, but I, can you find it other places, I take you it? You can. You can find it on Apple and Spotify, mm -hmm. um, really anywhere we say where you can find great stories. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is what we say. So wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find it in. Um, yeah, and, and it really, it's community, it's identity, it's faith, it's, it's love. It's really wrapped in love, yeah. you know, and um, I hope that people really take time to listen to it and, like, dive in. Uh, we have seven more to go, and um, it's, it's a ride all the way through. Yeah. All right, well, Intersections Detroit, find it wherever you find your great stories, your podcasts, and you have a few episodes you can binge right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Latoya Cross and Marcus Lyon, thank you so much, both thank of you, you for joining Marcus. us today.